Good afternoon, YouTube. This is your journey. Today is April 28, 2015, and it is now 5.11 p.m. Okay, well, I did a, a video earlier today on my DNA, and um, this is going to be um, something a little different. I, um, but I, and I wanted to wait to do this. Uh, video until I got, um, you know, comparison, you know, because I had um, made a guess about, like, when you do your family tree, they, they'll they show you your DNA cousin, and um, when I did mine first, I had uh, DNA relatives, and I was curious to know what side of the family some of them were from, you know, uh, because it doesn't indicate which half. So when I uh, talked my mom into doing the DNA and uh, when her results came in, I was able to determine who, you know, it's 50-50. It's those that reflected that it was, uh, they were related to my mom. The other half meant, meant that uh, they're from my father's side. So, well, what I did was um, I made a guess. Well, I um I forget the term uh that dowsing or dowsing. I like part of this spirit journey and uh, as I mentioned earlier, I wanna be in the know rather than being in the faith, you know. Faith doesn't um I mean it's a great motivator to have faith, but to know is even more powerful, you know. Unless you're delusional, you don't care what the facts show. You just believe what you want to believe. But see, I want to believe in what's true. You know, that's part of my spirit journey. And uh, I want to try to verify what I can verify of what is truth and what is just stable. And uh, so I also wanted to expand my exposure, my um you know, my exposure to different things that is outside of my box, you know, outside of what I was uh, taught was right, you know. And um, I used to be a Christian and I was a, a faith believer. And uh, so now I'm at a point, I, I want to examine what I believe and things like that and uh, so with regard to my DNA and heritage and trying to find out um, who's, who belongs to whose side of the family um, I uh, uh, and someone had told me about these things this is what they call a, a pendulum okay let me show it it has little little Things, little stones on the front representing the chakras, and then the the clear thing is the quartz crystal. Okay, and it has like a little little ball. Oops, it's shaking. Okay, little ball that you hold on to. Okay, and you you hold it up. And you're not supposed to move your hand, and you just you know, you ask a question. First you do like a baseline. You know, you, you hold it up and then you ask for it, you know, to show you what a yes answer looks like and then a no answer. Let me see. I, since I have you on YouTube, let me see what, what it would have. And every time I'm going to do, going to use this pendulum as it's called, I, I do a baseline to see what does a yes answer look like versus a no. So, Please show me what a yes answer looks like. Oh, I see. Them. Okay, it looks like a counter counterclockwise. Okay, and I was moving my hand. You know, I'm just showing you what. You know what you do, and you do uh, what a no answer looks like, and what does a uh, I don't know or maybe 
or something like that, you know. But that's what I did. And then I um, wrote down, like before my mother's uh, test results for the DNA came in, I wrote down the list of the genetic cousins that I that I have on for my um, DNA test results. And I wrote down the names of the people, and then I wrote in column of uh, mom and dad, <laughs> and I, I asked the, the pendulum, um, so and so's from mom's side and dad's side, etc. You know, and I went through it, and you know, I, I put I put the pendulum over the person's name, you know, and then I I have like a a column for mom and a column for dad, and if it if if I put the pendulum under the mom column, you know, did it go clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever, and I and I would indicate that in the at the response. So, what was the 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 test results? Okay, so since not that my mother's DNA results came in, and uh, I was just analyzing the accuracy of it. Okay, the accuracy. For the the list of names, there were let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight different questions regarding the DNA. There, there were um, six names and then two locations, you know, and and um, so the results were of the names. Let me see, four. Out of the six names were correct, you know, um, and again by deduction, so, since I don't have my father's DNA sample, just my mom, and again, you, you're half of your mom and you're half of your dad, so it's easy to, you know, to, you know, whatever my mother's reflected, that which didn't reflect, you know, I assigned being to my father's side. So for the names, Four out of the six names, I was able to determine whose side, and, and, and that I was correct, okay? That the pendulum was correct in those instances. And then for the location, I had two location questions, and it was iffy. Oh, one, one of them was like half right, like the thing for the... Um, East Central Africa, I said, who, you know, who side, and um, I did, I did that uh, testing several times, you know, like I did it one time and it showed, I think my father's side, and then I did it again and it said my mother, so, you know, so um, because it didn't have one hit. I forget which one I, I think my father's was first, you know, and when I did it for the second time, I think it registered my mother, okay? So I just said, okay, um, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll consider that a yes, you know. Um, but the, the, the other location, um, for Middle East, oh yeah, for, for Middle East, that one was wrong. I, I said that they, they both gave it to me, my mother, and as I showed you in uh, my prior video to this one, my mother didn't have any uh, Middle Eastern uh, DNA reflected, you know, on, on the on the map. Okay, so the accuracy, since there's eight questions that I asked regarding it, and I had five out of the eight right, that gave me a 62% accuracy. Okay, and uh, and then um, prior to my doing this um, dousing for the, the DNA info, you know, I so again someone told me about you know the pendulum that you what you could use it for, and yes, I have to admit, um, I did test it out on the lottery. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, so. Um, I did, let's see, I played four games, um, I did the lotto, and with lotto you have to play two games, I did Mega Millions, 
and the New York Powerball. And um, I tell you this, <laughs> I didn't win anything. And in fact, the accuracy was so poor, <laughs> you know. And and I I was feeling real confident. You should have seen. I was like, I, you know, I was feeling real good that day too. I go, I got it. I got it. I got it made. You know. And you know what the the accuracy was? Um, not even four percent. It was three point eight percent. About you know, that's nothing. And that was you know just by chance probably the one I, I had maybe one right. You know, so. I just wanted to sh wanted to share this with you because again, you know, the, the pendulum, you know, like other types of um, what do you call it, uh, dowsing or you know, whether you're using uh, tarot cards, things like that. Um, you know, it's just a tool, and it's not a, an exact science, and it can give you wrong information, and that. If we base, you know, so I'm not to base my faith, my, 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 my truth on a pendulum. Because as you see, you know, it, it's not accurate. And so I, uh, I mean, it's pretty crystal. But again, it's showing me, you know, that it's, it's not perfect and it's Far from accurate. Okay, so you know, let let me know what your thoughts are about the pendulum and other types types of dowsing. Again, I, I'm new with this. I just got this uh, a month ago. You know, but I don't, you know, I'm not a pro, and I'm and I'm just you know, I looked at some videos to see how you use it. You know, so again, maybe because you know I'm I'm new at it. And maybe other people can do it and they're just more in tune. But I'll keep you posted on any, you know, future usage of this and what, what type of results I get. So thank you again for, for listening, YouTube. Uh, please, um, uh, so, you know, please feel free to subscribe, share. You can write your comments below and take care. See you.